Elite Facts presents. What would happen if the world ran out of oil? Nine. Vehicles would become pointless. So one of the most obvious things that would be affected if we suddenly ran out of oil would be transportation. Transportation as we know it would come to a grinding halt. And hey, for all you owners of electric-powered vehicles, we wouldn't be so quick to gloat about it because you'll be affected by this oil crisis too. But we'll get into that later. The roads and highways would literally become giant parking lots with nothing to park on them, and they would be devoid of any cars or other oil-based vehicles. And this would start a chain reaction that would hinder our society. Because there's no oil, most deliveries of consumer goods to retail stores would be impossible, including outright necessities like food and clothing. It would also hinder all emergency vehicles. The police wouldn't be able to arrive at the scene of a crime on time. Firefighters wouldn't be able to reach any fires on time, and ambulances would be unable to get to any injured or sick people in time to make a difference. In a sense, we'd be screwed. Another thing to take note of is how we'd cope without it. Well, we imagine that over time there would be advancements in other energy departments, such as solar energy and whatnot, that would allow us to use vehicles again. But until that day came, how would we cope? We'd probably either start walking everywhere or using horses and buggies again. But we're pretty sure the price for a service like that would be jacked up. All we're going to say is this: save up for a bike and just store it away, or invest in a horse. Who knows what's going to happen? Eight. One of the other things you'd probably notice at the start of the oil crisis is that there would be rolling blackouts caused by the lack of oil and natural gas, in turn causing power plants to idle. If coal was still a fairly common natural resource, we would be able to count on at least some power each day, up to 60% of the supply we have now. Depending on location, if that disappeared tomorrow too, we would have to run on nuclear and renewable energy only, a sector that makes up just 14% of our country's power needs and less than 10% of the world's. The sudden lack of grid power would pose an immediate threat to nuclear power. Again, we would have the chain reaction effect here because without oil, we wouldn't have grids of electricity. Grid electricity is a requirement to manage cooling systems when the reactor itself is not actively generating. So any plants in the process of being idled when we ran out of petroleum would be in danger of melting down. So pretty much the worst case scenario here is complete and global nuclear meltdown. Seven. But enough with the whole end of days vibes. Surely there's got to be something positive to come out of this whole scenario, right? Well, let's say the world doesn't devolve into nuclear chaos. One of the few positive things to come out of this would be that we, as a human race, would become a lot healthier. Now, this positive is technically a follow-up to the transportation issue we mentioned earlier on our list. But without transportation, we would either be forced to get a ride in a horse and buggy, like in the olden days, or we could just walk or get around on bicycles. Because of this, we would be much more active than most people are now, and we would be much healthier as a result. Cardiovascular disease rates and obesity problems in general would take a massive dive. We, as a society, would be so much healthier. Six. Pollution. Now, okay, we've completely screwed the environment up beyond repair. Like there is no going back now. Pollution has really done a number on the polar ice caps and the Earth's atmosphere. However, with the sudden absence of oil, at least we wouldn't be damaging it any further. Sure, in terms of this planet, it's screwed. However, with the absence of oil, we're at least delaying the inevitable. Ice caps will get a few extra years added to their lifespan, and air pollution will most definitely come to a standstill. Bye. You know the film series Mad Max? Well, we're not exaggerating when we say that society could potentially collapse into disarray, much like it is in those films, minus the deserts and mutant motorcycle gangs. Societal collapse would be inevitable, and anarchy would reign. When the supply of vital necessities like food is cut off, people would be a hell of a lot less polite to each other within just a few hours. With first responders essentially helpless, and most members of those agencies having the same basic problems without solutions as everyone else would be having, there would be little consequence to killing everyone else on your street for anything they had left, provided they don't kill you first. 
There would be eventual stabilization into an agrarian survivalist proto-civilization, and sooner or later there would be no one around worth killing for their stuff, so efforts would eventually turn to sustainability, producing food and other necessities. At some point, civilization would recenter around what is left. Unfortunately, without the fossil fuels that enabled the Industrial Revolution and the Information Age, it's unlikely humanity would ever claw its way back to the technological level it had, even if we retained or regained all the knowledge of it in some form. Four. Oh boy, this is a big one. So if this had happened in the 1990s or early 2000s, we probably would have been fine. We could have just carried on with our lives back then with relative ease. However, because technology and the internet have improved drastically over the last 15 years, not to mention our reliance on both for everyday living, they have legitimately become a staple of our society. Most, if not all, companies across the globe rely on the internet. If we ran out of oil, the internet, as well as most technological development based on it, would cease to exist. The hardware that ran it would be powered down to conserve electrical energy for heat, light, and critical infrastructure support. Not to mention we'd all be bored out of our minds. Don't lie, without the internet, you'd be incredibly bored. I mean, could you imagine a world without the internet? Hmm, that gives us an idea. Three. Lots of people will lose their jobs and medical items will diminish. There would be mass unemployment as businesses that can't make money without electrical power, which is pretty much all businesses these days, except maybe candle makers. Well, they would start laying off workers, and fuel is far from the only practical implementation of crude oil. Whether it's the toothbrush you use every day, the contact lenses you wear, your running shoes, or your favorite clothing, nearly everything is derived from or manufactured using oil products in one way or another. Plastic is one durable and long-lasting substance that is derived directly from petroleum, and life without this single element would be drastically different than it is today. Moreover, the medical field would look far different than it currently does, as a significantly large number of medical and operational products are derived from plastic. Plastic is used in latex gloves, syringes, sterilized packaging, and also comprises the surgical components used in hip, joint, and heart operations. You may see plastic in abundance today, it may even be a biological hazard when improperly disposed of, but soon after oil disappears, its prices would rise, and the need to recycle it would increase by folds. The cosmetic industry would also be rocked, since almost every cosmetic item, in composition as well as packaging, requires oil and oil-derived products. Two. Temperature control. Heating and cooling our homes would suddenly get a lot more complicated, especially when winter rolls around and our houses start getting cold. Can we quickly put together some solar panels and batteries, a wind turbine? What do we have growing in our backyard that we can burn? Environmentalists have been nudging us to insulate our homes and generate electricity from renewable sources for a while now. This might be the time to start paying attention to that. There would be a dramatic increase in deaths due to exposure, heat or cold, starvation, and the inability to access proper medical care. 1. World currencies would collapse. With the disappearance of oil, most world currencies would collapse. Want to know how? Well, let's take into consideration that over 90% of US dollars exist electronically. As we previously stated, we need oil in order to run electric grids and whatnot. So with no electricity to power the computers that track these financial transactions and balances, most records of ownership would be unavailable for the foreseeable future. What other topics would you like us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell button for notifications of our latest videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts.